welcome to my not Windows apparently. Welcome to my Fistacchio. I um, exchanged some messages with my brother and I just wanted to show him a great Fistacchio milk that we found. For today, we will talk about we are inside Windows Fundamentals Part 2 System Configuration. The System Configuration Utility MS Config is for advanced troubleshooting and its main purpose is to help diagnose starting startup issues. Reference the following document here for more information on the system configuration utility. I love it, the Microsoft documentation. It's an amazing place to read more about uh, Windows utilities. There are several methods to launch system configuration. One method it from, is from the start menu and we say system configuration. Here you can see another one is to MS config and we see it here. Another one is to shoot or let's say in the start menu, say run, enter, MS config will bring you system configuration, the same place. You need local administrator rights to open this utility. I don't know if you catch that run. As you can see, this task will be created with administrative privileges. So if you hit MS config, it will open up with administrative privileges, exactly what it said here. The utility has five tabs across the top. Yes, we see them. Below are the names of each tab. We will briefly cover each tab in this task. General, boot, services, startup, and tools. In the general tab, we can select what devices and services for Windows to load up, to load upon boot. The options are normal, diagnostic or selective. Normal, diagnostic or selective startups. In the boot tab, we can define various boot options for the operating systems. So here we can define various boot op operations for the OS, the service tab, services, lists all services configured for the system regardless of their state, running or stopped. Yes, we can see all of that in the status. You can see everything that's running and everything that is stopped. A service is a special type of application that runs in the background, in the startup tab you won't see anything interesting in the attached virtual machine. Below is a screenshot of the startup tab for MS config from my local machine. So here you see it from the person that just made this section, just took a screenshot of their local machine. In order to show you my, if you see my Windows 11 result, it's exactly like you see in the picture from TryHackMe. As you can see, Microsoft advises using Task Manager to manage, enable, disable startup items. The system configuration utility is not a startup management program. The task management, you can see task manage. We can say again here, run. We go again. Here we'll have administrator privileges. Task manager, we hit enter. This is one way to open it. Control shift escape, it's another one. This is for my Linux, but if we go here and say task manager, it will open again what you saw when we hit run. More details and here we see applications from the background processes, applications that are open, Windows processes and a lot of other things. There is a list of various utilities or tools in the tools bar that we can run to configure the operating system further. There is a brief description of each tool to provide some insights into what the tool is for. A super cool description, straight to the point, for, in, for instance, internet options, view internet properties. For registry editor, makes changes to the Windows registry. Pretty awesome. Notice the selected command section, uh, this one. We see the information in the text box will change per tool. If you check it here and we change the tool, it will be modified. To run a tool, we can use the command to launch the tool via the run prompt, command prompt, or by clicking the launch button here. We click 
and we launch computer management bon answer the questions below what is the name of the service that lists systems internals as the manufacturer if we go to services and we click to to order by the manufacturer we can see systems internals manufacturer is p as shutdown whom is the windows license registered to if you go to tools about windows and we launch it we can see here this product is licensed under the microsoft so software license terms to windows user what is the command for windows troubleshooting we go again here and we let's okay here we see it we execute control dot executable under the name microsoft dot troubleshooting what command will open the control panel the answer is in the name of dot executable not the full path and if we play here in the tools header in system configuration we see on the system properties if we launch this we can see they are we are inside control panel system and security and then system all right if we watch at the command we see control.exe and system okay let's test this if we say here run and then here we say control.exe it will open control panel so it's control.exe awesome